Now, I just want to talk about Serena real quick because I've been hearing over the past few days about Serena, her skin bleaching and all of that. And people are trying to blame it on her husband and everything else. And I just really want to say that. Why do people continuously point the finger at other people when people make choices or life decisions for themselves? The image that we see of Serena has nothing to do with her husband or anybody else. That is her own personal battle that we are watching. Now, I don't know if she has an issue with being a dark-skinned black woman. However, I do know that Serena has been getting called ugly continuously since she hit the scene. When she was a kid, she was, you know, playing tennis, her and her sister. They had the beads and the braids and a very black look. And, you know, it was okay for us because it was exciting to see a representation of, you know, who we are and seeing our people be allowed to be themselves and be professionals. But Serena has been throughout her life constantly ridiculed and teased. And I'm sure that she has her own insecurities as everybody else does. And she is in the public eye. So her insecurities have been heightened by ridicule. So I feel as though Serena has been spending her entire life trying to figure out how she can feel better probably about herself and how she can get the media and, you know, blogs and everybody to stop ridiculing her look. Serena Williams has a fair-skinned child because she had a baby by a white man. Her daughter probably doesn't understand skin tone at this point or, you know, black from white because children normally have no clue about race and they end up learning it, you know, from various places, from their family, from TV or wherever. But she probably has a hard time explaining her skin tone to her daughter. So I just don't understand. Like, people have to let people go through their issues and their their problems. And if Serena is feeling down on herself, let her explore and, you know, see the world and try different things and see what works best for her. But what I can honestly say is the issue for sure is the fact that Serena hasn't found a stylist and a makeup artist that knows how to bring out the best in her as far as looks are concerned. Her wigs are always bad. Always. Her wigs always look horrible. Her makeup is definitely below average for the amount of money that she has. I think that um, she probably, you know, picks out things that she likes versus things that will make her look her best, which a lot of women do that. But she probably needs a little bit of redirecting in regards to her fashion choices. I feel like if she had better hair and she toned her look down a little bit and moved away from the blonde and those wigs... I think that she would look a lot better. She would be a lot more comfortable in her skin. I feel like Serena looks better with more natural looks 
like big curly afros and stuff like that because she's a big woman and she needs to accentuate what she has instead of focusing on what she doesn't have and that's something that needs to be learned by a lot of women but you know it takes us time sometimes to figure out who we really are and I just wanted to bring light to that we need to stop pointing the finger at everyone but the person that is having the issue Serena if she bleached or if she has lighter makeup, that was her choice. That was something that she did or she went through with it. Even if somebody was suggesting that to you, if you're okay with who you are and your self-esteem is intact, nobody can manipulate you into turning into something like this. I'm just sorry. But drop down in the comments and tell me what you think. And I'll see you in the next video.